Jake, we're on news together. That's tight. It is tight. You ready to do this tight thing? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do tight. On Thursday, May 21st, Aliyah Hunt will be hosting a Gift of Grace fundraiser. Twelve NHS students will be facing off during a segment of Family Feud. To help participate, you can go on your Google Mail and answer the questions to the surveys. Tickets are now on sale during A lunch on Black Days and C lunch on Gold Days. If you don't have either of those lunches, you can find her or the contestants sometimes during the day. Contestant names will be coming to you soon. Also, there will be a raffle for silver prizes such as Mary Cat Kate baskets, each for a girl and a guy, coupons for free games at Cooper Stardust Bowl, and last but definitely not least, a $25 Visa gift card. Tickets for the show are $1, and raffle tickets are $1 for $1, $3 for $2, and $10 for $5. It's for a great cost, so come on down Thursday, May 21st at 1.35. Attention NHS. Tentative schedules will be distributed during AL on Thursday. Students who do not have an AL will receive schedules during Block 2 classes. If you want to change your schedule, you should submit a schedule change request form online through the NHS Guidance website. You will also receive a Canvas message with a link to this form. Counselors work as quickly as possible to process these requests and will meet with you if necessary. Remember, all schedule change requests must be received by the last day of school, Wednesday, June 3rd. Attention all juniors enrolled in the internship program during AL, during AL on, May, on Monday, May 11th in the LGI room. Please request a pass for, from Mrs. Wiersma to attend the meeting. If you cannot attend, please email Mrs. Wiersma so other arrangements can be made. Also, if you are enrolled in the cadet teaching program, you will also have a meeting during AL on Wednesday, May 13th in the LGI room. Request a pass from Mrs. Wiersma to attend the meeting. If you cannot attend, please email Mrs. Wiersma, Wiersma and other arrangements can be made. It's warm and summer is coming, but it's not here yet. Students still have to follow the NHS dress code, so listen up for what that entails. Do not wear skirts or dresses shorter than the tips of your fingers, shorts that are shorter than the length of your thumbs when your arms are by your side, Tops that expose your bare midriff, halter tops, strapless tops, tube tops, backless tops, see-through tops, spaghetti straps, and other revealing clothing. Also, not undergarments can be showing. Any questions, just check your handbook. Noblesville is looking for some sparkling personalities willing to help out this year's 4th of July festival. Serving for just a couple hours can make a huge difference. To find out more, register in the logistics volunteer system. With any questions, email Amy Shankland at ashankland at noblesville.in.us. As the week continues and more and more posters for the student government campaigns are being posted in the Commons, if anyone wants a video to be run with the news, just send us a message. Attention all you art gurus. The art institutes will be visiting NHS on May 15th in the cafeteria. They emphasize four areas of study, media design, design, fashion, and culinary arts. So if you're anything from an aspiring chef to the next Chanel, please come, out, please come out and see what it's all about. Jake, it's been an honor. Like that one kid in the sandlot, we stepped up to the plate and saved the day. I guess that's the right movie you want to quote. Okay. <laughs> see you, NHS. Peace, NHS. Lobster, three for fifteen ninety nine. Cool. You want to grab some after this? Um, no. Let's just do sports. This Friday night at Carmel, the boys and girls track team will take on County at Carmel at five thirty. This is one of your last opportunities to watch the Jake Owens fly in the one hundred meter dash and the Abby Crouch take on the Carmel distance team. Show your school spirit and be at the Greyhound track Friday night. 
Also running in the county meet will be the one and only NHS Unified Track Team. Watch your favorites run down the track taking on the Greyhounds. The meet starts at 5.30 at the Carmel Greyhound Stadium. The Boys and Girls Club may be over, but, but competitive basketball can still be played. For only $5 per person, make, make the greatest 3-on-3 three -three basketball team your Noblesville has ever seen. Teams of three or four people are encouraged. Registration is $5 a person. You need to sign up during lunch, and it starts right now through Friday, May 8th. The tournament games are Monday, May 11th, and Wednesday, May 13th during AL. If you can't play but you're interested in watching, buy an admission ticket, $1 for Monday, $1 for Wednesday. All the proceeds will go to Special Olympics, so sign up, show up, and get ready to dunk on some kids. Listen up. The boys varsity lacrosse team has a game tonight and you need to get out there. The game is at Fishers at 745 and, need, and you need to be there. Let's get a student section out there and show them what we're all about. On Monday, all baseball games were canceled due to weather. The boys next game are Wednesday for JV Black and JV Gold against HSE. Thursday at the dunk varsity will play HSE. Keep up the great work guys. Over the weekend, the boys' volleyball team went out to the Zinesville tournament and came out in second place. They beat Hebron, number 10 in the state Lafayette Jeff, and number 3 in the state Southport. The boys took a close loss to, the Ron, to Ron Colley, second in state, with a third set score of 15-13. The boys are now in the Metro tournament, and after that, it's state time. Good luck, boys. Well, Peyton, any big plans for this weekend? Well, it's only Wednesday, so... So, Red Lobster? Red Lobster. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> See you, NHS. See ya. Hi, Mom. Hey, hey. Um, I don't like to follow the rules. And that's just why.